If you are looking for tips for your upcoming move and how to save time, money, and energy, then please listen up. My name is Tanya Cosmini. I am the broker and owner of Realty One Group Elevate here in North Florida. And what you might not know about me is I've done three cross-country moves and four local moves right here in the Jacksonville area. And I think I've almost mastered the art of the move. Through these experiences, I've learned things that work and don't work. And I'm excited to share with you my top five tips on how to save time, money, and energy, and maybe your relationships while moving. So the number one thing I suggest, which is gonna be contrary to popular belief, whatever you read on Google or Pinterest or wherever you get information is gonna tell you to not pack things that you don't want, to use packing as an opportunity to throw things out. I think it wastes time because you're de deciding, do I want this, do I want not want this? Because on the other side, when you're unpacking, you're gonna have a ton of garbage. So you might as well just sort it when you move. It's worked for me every single time. I've never regretted it. Maybe I've had an entire extra box of stuff, but the amount of time it saved me on the other side, totally worth it. So moving tip number two is gonna seem kind of strange, but I promise it makes everything really easy. So in order to fill your closet with all your clothes as quickly and as seamlessly as possible, instead of using those really expensive like garment rack um, boxes, just take 10 hangers, throw a rubber band around them, take a, put a slit in the top of a black, large garbage bag, throw it on top, an instant garment bag. Really easy and simple. You can just take clothes from one closet right to the other. Tip three, people will tell you to unpack everything out of your dressers or anything that's in a drawer. My suggestion is just keep it as is and wrap it. Now, I understand your dresser might be really heavy. Your dresser drawers come off. Take your dresser drawers off, load them on the truck, put the drawers back in. And if you haven't seen this really cool like saran wrap type stuff that they have for moving, you're just gonna wrap the whole thing. It's super satisfying and fun. I highly suggest you invest in it. It's a great time. Very simple and easy because all you're gonna do is take your dresser from your room and put it in your new bedroom super fast. Number four, save time in the kitchen. All have kitchen drawers filled with all kinds of little gadgets. Instead of packing those gadgets individually, I suggest you take a whole bunch of packing paper, throw those gadgets right on there, wrap them up like a little present, tape it up right on there where it is and just throw it in a box. That way, when you get to where you're going, you can keep all the stuff together you had before. It's really, really easy. Number five, number five is really important. It's gonna save your relationship with your friends, family, your special person and everybody else. Hire a company, a moving company hourly to move your heavy items. And it might not be that you hire them and use their truck. You might just move it into your own truck that you're renting, or perhaps you move it into a pod. But this way, no one's arguing, no one's fighting, no one gets hurt while packing all of your heavy items. I also suggest you do the same thing on the other end of your move when you're unpacking is find a moving company that you can hire hourly to help you with that. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions about moving, I've done it a bunch. I'd love to hear from you and please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much.